Have you ever wondered how to make a brand white hot? Or how a designer became a design superstar? Well, tonight, you'll find out. We're at Williams Sonoma here at the Time Warner Center in Manhattan, and we're talking to some of the best and the brightest in the design world about how they became design superstars. I'm Jason Oliver Nixon, and you're watching Editor TV. The role of a designer has changed a lot. It, they have to wear so many more hats than they ever did in the past. Suddenly, designers have licensed lines of furniture and books and you know, blogs and even TV shows. And, and it's exciting because it's not just now Martha Stewart that gets to have an empire. It's it, you know, and many people can have their own little empires if they want to. And design has become such a world, and you really do have to participate in all parts of it. And I think that that's a really key word is participating. And doesn't mean you have to always give so much of your time to going to parties and events uh, it's a, it's it is a part of it but you know participating is also like making yourself available to people whether it's a consumer who has a question for you you know on Facebook or you know an editor who is looking for you to you know design a table setting for you know their event you've always had such good positioning I think in, in so many different worlds but I think some of that comes from really respecting the questions asked and if somebody is going to take an interest in what I might have to say, I'm going to work my tail off to, to really find and mine my own spectrum to see how I can respond to their question with honesty. And um, usually I learn something in the process. You have to build relationships in our industry. And so the personal nature of how you deal with people, how you um, build a relationship, whether, whether it's a vendor or another designer, is equally, if not as much, important than any outreach that you do. So talk to me about building a brand. What is your approach? You know, you have to build a niche. You have to, you have to find what's different about your business and promote it on every level you can. They talked about it tonight, about having a special point of view of being known for something. I really believe in that. It is really good to have an identity. It's really just finding something unique about your company and making yourself stand out, because if you just blend into a sea of people, then you're not going to get anywhere. We want to know that what we're doing is influencing the design community and vice versa. And it makes a lot of sense for us to kind of have that dialogue with designers and continue to build and modify and tweak um, so that we can meet their needs as well as our clients' needs. Now that you know how to become a design superstar, the question is this, are you ready? Reporting in from Williams-Sonoma, I'm Jason Oliver Nixon, and you're watching Editor TV.